Hello and welcome back everyone, my name is Little Corn Dogs, and in today's video I'm going to be teaching you how to create suspension glitches. Now there are two different kinds of suspension glitches. There's one, as you can see right here, that lets you tilt um, with the input of buttons or even your seat like this. And then there's also one that keeps you directly upright. So the one that keeps you directly upright is more for uh, like rockets or spaceships that you just want flying on a straight plane, you know, just going up and down like this. So anyways, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so let's start off with number one. So number one is just a normal upright glitch. I'm doing this one first just because it's so easy to understand and easy to build. So um, basically just an L, you put a suspension there, you put a bearing, and then you put a block on the bearing. So um, it will connect these. You used to have to weld these together, but now it doesn't work, so that's fine. Um, but let's just put a thruster on here like this and then let's put a seat on like that and yes I know it's backwards but it's totally fine this is just an example so if you connect that to the seat you turn it all the way up um, what do you think would happen if I were to hop in the seat and press the button we'd probably tip over most likely but no that is not the case uh, as you can see it wants to stay upright so you can attach this to anything a rocket a helicopter a spaceship whatever you want um, and it will stay upright now um, you can just save this little guy here um, and just save him and then weld him to whatever aircraft you make in the future and it'll stay upright so that's basically it for the upright glitch that one was really easy how to make and just save and download and copy and paste and put it in all your aircraft that keeps tipping over when you when you get high enough even though it's really balanced so anyways let's get on to number two okay so the second suspension glitch that we have here is the one that you can actually manipulate the movement of your aircraft or car or whatever you'd like so um, let me start off with the easy part so let's go ahead and cut out that space there and then let's just put our seat on top now um, that's good now let's get our bearing now this is the same thing as the last one so you want to make sure um, the block is on the bearing just like that and then you put the suspension down and then you put another block and make sure it's on the suspension if you put it over here or over here on top it's not going to work for some reason but make sure you have it aimed your little crosshair there on the suspension like that so really only two parts or three parts to this um, is your seat and uh, of course the bearing and then your suspension so um, if we turn you can see that we just spin in a circle and I'm only clicking W and D so like yeah so it works and then of course if you're spinning in the wrong way just same thing as when you're making a normal car so you can spin around like that okay so we went over just the turning left and right just like a car which you can add to you know any aircraft or any spaceship but now let's get into the tilting part so this is where it gets a little bit confusing and um, if you'd like you can keybind some of your keys to make it a little bit easier but that's you know it's not a must it's just uh, recommended by me so uh, let's go ahead and start off same thing as last time just a seat um, just like this and then let's go ahead and add this part with the two resistances on the side same thing as last time and then you put a bearing down you put the suspension and you put the block now make sure this blocks on the bearing the suspensions on that block and then this block is on this suspension or else it won't work so um, we're gonna need a controller let's flip that and then we're gonna need a button so these are all going to connect to each other like that and like that and then like that so when we click one it is going to tilt either in a forward or backward direction but let's choose what direction so um, as you can see blue is down so let's go ahead and make it tilt forward with one so um, I don't know why it's green in here but it is uh, like that and then when we click one as you can see we tilt forward now it is a little bit beefy as you can see it kind of uh, is a little chunky but if you're making a big airplane or something really long um, with like big wings then it you know you can squeeze these behind the cockpit and all around it and it actually fits pretty well so um, this is how you go forward so uh, we just make another one of these and then we turn the bearing like that and you know that we don't have to change any of these settings in here and then we go backwards when we click two or whatever but because I don't have a second button and it's not connected 
um, we're not going to be clicking too. So um, I'm gonna do all the sides and then I'm also gonna add the turning on the bottom just like we did in the beginning of the video. Um, just so I could show you that it, you know, it tilts left, tilts right, tilts forward, tilts backwards, all that good stuff. So uh, I'll be right back. Okay, so as you can see, we are back and I have this oddly shaped uh, blocky cube thing, but uh, this is all the mechanical parts that you need to be able to, you know, tilt backwards, tilt forward, tilt left, tilt right, do all that good stuff. So let's go back like that. <laughs> but if we were to add thrusters to this thing, then we would be able to technically fly by leaning and doing all that good stuff. So um, it, I basically just copy and pasted everything um, and just welded it on. So it's literally that easy. So um, as you can see, one is connected here, and then I have two is connected here, and then three is in the back here connected to the seat, and four is connected to the front. So um, when I click four, this guy tilts and it tilts this way. So like, like, uh, where is it? This. Now, it would be extremely hard to be clicking W and the one, two, three, four, five, you know, arrow keys, or not arrow keys, number keys on top. So what I have done is if we go to options here and we go to controls, um, where is it? Where is it? Okay, right here. So um, hotbar item one. So the number one that you click. So when we click, you know, one, um, it tilts us backwards. So I have it all set up to um, different keys. So I have it on T, G, F, and H, which is just right next to W, A, S, D. Um, and I have it all in the same exact controls. So I hope that this makes sense. So when I click W, I connect that to a thruster. So we are going forwards. And then if I want to tilt back, then I go like this. Um, I click number one and that tilts us back. And then if I want to tilt forward, I could click number two and that tilts us there. So, and then left and then right and all that good stuff. So um, I hope that this made a little bit of sense, but as long as you understand how to make just one of these, just this block here with this uh, controller and this button, and you know how to connect it to the seat, you are good because you can flip these and you can go in different directions and uh, you'll figure it out. But as long as you know how to make these, um, it should be able to help you tilt left, right, up, or backwards, forwards, all that good stuff. So anyways, I hope that this helped. If it did, make sure to leave a comment or leave a like on the video, and I will see you guys in the next one.